In this video, we're going to fill in some missing values to some tables based on the fact that we have a composition, specifically that h of x equals f of g of x. And in this case, we're actually going to work backwards um, to get some of these values. So let me show you how this works. So for instance, right here, I know that h of 1 equals 4. So let's make a note of that. h of 1 equals 4. Okay. Well, h of x is f of g of x. So that means that f of g of 1 equals 4. All right. Okay, well, let's see what g of 1 is. g of 1 is 3. So f of 3 must equal 1. Okay, so we go to f. f of 3 must equal 1. And we can fill in that box. And we just kind of work our way down. So the next one, h of 2 equals 3. Okay, that means f of g of 2 must equal 3. Alright, so let's see. What is g of 2? Okay, g of 2 we don't know. g of 2, we're not sure what it is. But remember what happens. That output of g goes into f and has to give an output of 3. f has an output of 3 when its input is 1, so g of 2 has to equal 1. So we're filling in the missing pieces. We have, next we have h of 3 equals 2, so I'm just going to skip that first step. f of g of 3 equals 2. Alright, well g of 3 is 4. We actually have it right here, g of 3 is 4. So f of 4 must equal 2. f of 4, notice it was one of our missing values, it must equal 2. All right, next one, f of g of 4. So I'm basically doing this with h, but remember h is f of g. So I'm just skipping that very first step. f of g of 4 must equal 5. All right, g of 4 we don't know. So what does g of 4 have to be in order to get 5 as an output? Well, remember, g of 4 is getting put into f. So what needs to put, be put into f to get 5 as an output? In other words, f of what equals 5? Well, let's go to our table. Here's where f has an output of 5. It had to be 2. So that means this guy has to be 2, which means that has to be 2. So g of 4 is 2. One last one. f of g of 5 equals 1. G of 5, we don't know. G of 5, what is that equal? Well, who knows? But what we do know is that when put into here, it, when put into F, it's got to come out to be 1. Well, putting 5 into F gives 1 as an output, so G of 5 must be 5. So that's how we can kind of use the definition of composition to find these middle pieces, which is a little bit trickier than just composing two uh, functions together.